Alright, so we're quickly looking at the Oramin Osteen. Alright, so the Oramin Osteen, as for me, I there's a way I derive it on, on remembering the Oramin Osteen. I just tag it as, as a stain that's usually what announces the presence of the organism. Can you see? It will make every other place dark, while it will make the organism glow. It's just like a searchlight or a security light has what located its teeth. Do you understand? So, Ramin Osteen. So, this Ramin Osteen is actually what? A fluorescent staining technique. Used primarily to identify what? Acid fast organisms like what? Mycobacterium tuberculosis in clinical specimens, right? So, um, it binds specifically to what? Mycolic acids in the cell walls of the acid fast bacteria. Now, when you expose it to what? Ultraviolet light, these stained bacteria, they fluoresce with a bright yellow or bright green. Do you understand? They don't become bright because of the urami or stain in their mycolic cell wall. Okay? So this will now make it easier for you to dictate them under a fluorescence microscope. So for procedure in trying to prepare uh, this, this is this are the urami old stuff. So um, you prepare a smear on a glass light and air dryer. You heat to fix the smear. You stain the smear with urami old solution for about 15 minutes. You rinse with water. You decolorize with what? Acid alcohol solution for a few minutes. All right. Then mm, you rinse again with water. You counter stain with potassium permanganate solution for about what, two minutes. You rinse your air dry. You examine under a fluorescence microscope using ultraviolet light. Okay. Or I mean, oh. So, result is. Acid fast bacteria will always appear what bright yellow or bright green. Coming back to the result again. Then once you're not acid fast, you just appear dark or you're not flourish. Okay, so it's quite very simple. Okay, so this is it for this thing.